It's Ngazi, aka NG, and I am back today and I'm so excited because I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I feel are in my top 10 favorite that has helped me achieve my success with my natural hair. I'm going to try to keep it around 10 and these are going to be the items I plan to use in 2015 and they're my mainstays. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to break them down into categories of shampoos, conditioners, leave-in conditioners, sealers like heavy creams, scalp treatments, and a miscellaneous. So first up, shampoos. So, shampoos. so my favorite shampoos are hands down Shea Moisture products. Believe it or not, I am not a huge Shea Moisture girl, but when it comes to their shampoos, these two right here are my favorite. Now, this is the first one I ever got, okay? I'm sure a lot of you guys know it. It's very well known in the natural hair community, and this one is super good at leaving my hair moisturized, and it actually feels like I've used conditioner on it. It's really a staple of mine. If I don't want to strip my hair but still get a very clean feeling, I reach for this. I recently discovered this one, and this is the Shea Moisture African and black soap deep cleansing shampoo okay this one is great I, one I love the smell of their um, African black soap line so it just feels super cleaning for me but this one is absolutely great because it really cleanses the hair I use it when I really want to reach for that like I'm clarifying my scalp and clarifying and really getting all the gunk out of my hair I reach for this one so these are my two staples and I give them a big thumbs up now conditioners So I have not really found my holy grail conditioner, or maybe I have and I'm just realizing it like at this moment. I have tried a lot of different conditioners and you ladies know that 4C hair needs tons of moisture. We need a product that's gonna give us slip. The two products that I absolutely love are number one, the, the Tresemme Naturals line, the one with aloe vera. Love this product. It says it's silicone free. It, to me it feels like it has silicones, but I mean it's clearly a silicone free because it says it. It's the one with aloe vera and avocado. I love this stuff. This stuff gives me so much slip. It like makes detangling a little bit better, okay? Uh, and it really softens and gives my hair a slip and that's what I look for in a conditioner. The other product that I happened to come across, my sister actually gave me this, is the Motions Naturally You uh, Smoothing Conditioner. This one also I find is kind of on par with the Tresemme Naturals. Uh, this one, I don't find this in the store anymore, so I actually had to order this on Amazon. You ladies have to let me know where I can find it. Maybe I need to like go into a different neighborhood. This one I can find pretty easily. So these are my two staples. Great slip with this, great moisture. Give it my two thumbs up. Now deep conditioners. So what I use for deep conditioning is the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. And this is the raw shea line. I also use the African black soap purification mask. And this is from the African black soap line. I love how the like the thickness and density of this one coats the hair very nicely. This one, I love the way it smells again. Like I just kind of obsessed with how this line of products smell. And I, I like what's in it um, in terms of like clarifying. Uh, but I feel like both of these products kind of like sit on my hair more than it kind of like gets absorbed and penetrated into my hair and really softens it. So the jewelry is still out in this. Uh, recently I'm finding that I'll use the Tresemme or the Motions with some oils and use that to deep condition. I don't really know if I necessarily need a deep conditioner, but this is what I currently use. I kind of went crazy on a haul with some of these, so I kind of have a couple of tubs to use up. So I will be using them up, but this is just what I use right now. Let me know your thoughts on either both of these products, particularly for type 4 hair. So the next product, and this is my favorite category. You know what, it's so much my favorite category. We're going to do this Nigel style. See, I want to tell you something. I get this one product, eh? If you just put down for your line, and your eye will just declare, pia, pia. This product, the ting dong jam you. Sister, you go put down for your hair. Your hair go to shine, shine. It go to shine like morning star. It what I make you. This kinky, kinky, curly something, whatever you want to call it. You just use this something and I'm telling you. If you get fussy hair like me, you want to add this product to your asna. I don't mean asna as in the tea. Make sure you know I'm a united babe, okay? Now, sister, you know this thing they cost? It's a two cost. Something that's very nice, you can just put it and your hair will just be shining and detangling will be simpler. So, the directions say that you should be washing it out. There is no way you can 
be washing this thing out. So make sure you don't wash it out. Don't want to be washing it out. It's something that you just be putting in your hair and leave it. I don't want to take any glory where glory is not due. Very long time ago, there was this woman here called Kimi Too. She went and created some concoction with oils and aloe vera juice. If you don't know, I go leave her recipe down below. Mix it up. One bottle can now turn into one and a half, even maybe like two bottles. Please, ladies, if you don't have this, go and put it for your life. Do not say that NG, do not go and tell you, okay? Get your life as your, all you young people say. Get your life, get your hair, get your coins, and go and buy some kinky curly knot to do, and uh, you'll be all great. So, but no, seriously, love, love, love this product. I have tried so many other products, and nothing works as good as this. It's pricey, uh, but like uh, your girl just said, mix it, make your kamei tube mixture. It'll stretch it out, and it'll last quite a long time. My favorite shea butter product for sealing my hair and really giving that thick, rich moistness. Moistness is the Udiyama Delicately Smooth Whipped Hair Butter. This stuff right here is like phenomenal. This is the only shea butter that I use in my hair. I was introduced to it soon after I went natural. It has been a staple. I have never needed to find another product. It has suited all my needs. It's filled with just yummy goodness. The maker and the owner of the line is African American. She makes it all herself. I'm going to leave her link down below if anyone is interested. Uh, it is organic unrefined shea butter with al uh, lots of different organic oils and um, she puts aloe vera in here so it is kind of it is ph balance it's just fantastic and i'll use it to seal my hair after i put in my leave-in so awesome this one gets like four thumbs up so next up on my scalp treatment and for scalp treatments, again, I do reach for Udiyama Delicately Smooth products. When I need some extra thickness and uh, kind of like a pomade for my scalp, I will use the Restorative Scalp Elixir in the pomade version. And sometimes when I want something a little lighter for my scalp or for my hair, I'll use the Restorative Scalp Elixir in the oil form. Both are great. Both have like awesome oils in it. Jojoba oil, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, almond oil, lavender, cloves, castor oil, a bunch of essential oils, sag, fennel, like the list goes on. This one's really nice because it does come like in a twist cap and uh, I don't want to open it now okay but you can just apply it directly to your scalp or you can open it of course apply it to your hands and put it throughout your hair but again I use this a lot for my scalp and this one the pomade which you can see is like almost finished is uh this one this one is like really strong this one is like girl put this on your edges your edges will come back to life because it has a lot of peppermint and like tea tree oil all which will like stimulate stimulate the hair follicles to give you the growth. Yeah, love these. So these are two that I use and give it, of course, the NG seal of approval. So lastly, in my miscellaneous files, I have two products. Number one is coconut oil. And I mean, if you're a natural, you already have this. It's organic, refined coconut oil. Um, I just warm it up in the microwave for a couple of seconds, take some out of here, put it in a little Tupperware. Not only is it great for hair, it's just great for my skin too. It really softens and it leaves the softness. It doesn't, like you ladies know, if you have 4C hair, a lot of times we'll put a product in, it'll feel good for the first couple of hours. And then like later that day, you'll be like, what just happened? But with coconut oil, your problems will be solved. And lastly, I have another Shea Moisture product. And I honestly don't know why I like it so much, but I constantly reach for it. It's the Coconut and Hibiscus Shine and Hold Moisture Mist. Now, if you guys haven't put the pieces together, I am a lazy natural, constantly wear wigs. When it is time to moisturize my hair, particularly when I have my cornrows in, I just reach for some, I need some like water. If I haven't dampened my hair, I do like to use something that has all the goodies mixed in it already. And I just end up reaching for, for this product. I buy it when it's the buy one get one free, so it's about $5 a bottle. And it just has like not like just goodness inside. You guys know what Shea Moisture has. It's mainly deionized water. It has coconut oil, a couple of other oils, um, aloe extract. So to me, it's easy. I don't know if it's really pH balanced, but that's fine because I uh, balance, I pH balance my hair with my Kamei Tube leave-in. And um, this is it. So it's easy. It smells good. I don't know why. I've tried making my own leave-ins. I buy spray bottles. The spray bottles I always buy, they always break in like two days. And so I'm just like, whatever. I'm just going to use this. It's what I've been using. This is like my third bottle. I love it. Those are all the products that I have loved using and I will continue to use this year, 2015. I hope it was helpful to somebody or if you just want to see what I use, that's what I use. Down below, let me know what product is your favorite. Let me know what has worked for you or what hasn't worked for you or any other recommendation. If you want to see what my natural hair looks like, 
you can right there, go ahead and click on that video. You're gonna see my 57 month natural hair update and I show you how many inches I have achieved. And until the next video, 